So fans on their feet here at Gamble Yukon in those white throwback home uniforms. Princeton with the road blacks with the orange trim. We are underway at Gamble with Aaliyah Edwards winning the opening tip. Princeton's a smart defensive team. They play well together. We've talked about Peruvi, but she's a fabulous coach. Lopez Seneschal with a fabulous effort to the backboard. Lopez Seneschal can really slice through the defense and finds a way to score. Now from the corner page, Morton. Two bounces and in for Princeton's first points. Going to be so important for UConn to get some production out of the sophomore. Lopez Seneschal again off the screen. No. Bobby Griffin with a chance at a rebound. Picks it up. Nice pass. Mule to Edwards. Around and in. Here's one of their stars, Julia Cunningham, 24. She feeds Caitlin Chen. No. Rebound by Ellie Mitchell. Double zero. She is a rebounding master. She just has a motor, doesn't quit. She's got a knack for the ball. She never stops moving. Chen's pass intercepted by Lopez Seneschal. UConn trying to get the transition game going. Nicely defended by Chen. Mule inside. Edwards gets fouled on the floor. We'll talk more about Barubi, certainly, as the game goes on. Ducharme gets tied up underneath by Chen. So the coaching matchup tonight, Gino Oriema. Looking to continue that remarkable streak of not losing back-to-back -back games. Carla Barubi in her third year heading the Princeton program, her 20th year overall as a head coach. Her career record, 440 against 104. That's 81% win rate between Tufts and Princeton. She is just a, a phenomenal coach, smart. She recruits great kids. And a nice cut there by Grace Stone. Griffin works the paint. Back out to Mule. Descharm lets the three go. No, offensive foul. Cunningham feeds inside. Chen with the basket and a foul. Descharm got called for that foul. She was late coming over to help, but Griffin got tied up on the screen. I don't know if the, her teammate didn't tell her the screen was coming. And you see quickly Aubrey Griffin, the first sub out of the game, getting the talking to by Chris Daly. And Amari DeBerry is into the ball game for UConn. Two-point Princeton lead. DeBerry uses her length. Nice pass in from She Smith. wanted the ball. She knew she had the height advantage. Perfectly thrown pass. Great execution by DeBerry. Here's Chen. Skip pass across. Cunningham defended by Aaliyah Edwards. They get it in the corner to Mitchell. No. Edwards there for the rebound. Lopez Seneschal cuts, stops, and hits. Really good pass by Mule, but what a heads-up play by Lopez Seneschal. Cunningham lets it fly. No. She kept the ball above her head. See there, not a great pass. Ducharme was there to clean it up, just couldn't finish. Tigers push it into the front court. Chen brings the ball down. She is going to draw contact. You so. know, one thing we haven't talked about, the last thing UConn can have happen is foul trouble. trouble. Yeah. Inbound quickly back to Chen. Cut off. Mule was the defender there. Shot from the corner for three by Grace Stone. The senior from Glen Cove, New York on Long Island. Good cut by Ducharme, but couldn't handle the pass. Yeah, good team defense by Princeton. Here's Chen again. Steps away from Edwards. No. Rebound Lopez Seneschal. Into Edwards. Double team comes. She spins through it and puts it in. The quickness of that move made it. Here's Cunningham on Ducharme. No. Edwards gets the rebound. UConn looks to run in the transition game. Princeton very quickly retreats on defense. There's Lopez Seneschal for three. Wow, I was thinking to myself, maybe run a little offense. But... Mitchell trying to find someone. Finds Paige Morton, defended by DeBerry. Back out to Cunningham, shot clock at five. She drives, kicks all the way back out to a wide open Gray Stone who drops the three and throws the fist pump into the air. Aubrey Griffin back into the ball game for UConn. Sharm has taken a seat on the bench. Here's uh, Edwards looking for help. You're kind of lucky that 
Chen did not see that ball coming. It was easily stealable. Mule for two. Five to shoot. Cunningham tries to step around. Edwards, high glass. No, Griffin with the rebound. Mule gets the bucket and the foul. It's a big time play there by Nika Mule. Just driving in there to create something and then picked up the nice big left footed step. It's that home court bounce, too. 23, that's Madison St. Rose, one of the very highly touted freshmen playing for this Tiger squad. She lets the three fly. No. And that'll go over the back and be turned over to UConn. Now we'll look at some of the numbers when UConn was with and without AZ Fudd a season ago. Points per game standing out. DeBerry gets the two. And Griffin can't tie the ball up. Really good job by Princeton. Everyone boxed out. Here's Chen. The pull-up jumper breaks a 7-0 UConn run. 30 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Edwards spins. And will get the contact. So Aaliyah Edwards to the free throw stripe. The junior from Kingston, Ontario. And UConn's going to need a lot more of that going forward. Cool bounce. Chen drive, stops. No. Griffin with the rebound. Fights her way through the double team. Can they get a shot? No. Yes. And didn't go. So DeBerry on the floor along with Edwards, Mule, Griffin, and Lopez Seneschal. There's Stone. Now Mitchell. Good ball movement from the Tigers. Good defensive movement from UConn. Into Mitchell, who got away from Edwards. Nika Mule on the run. Hit as she drives to the hoop. Nika Mule plays with. The heart and soul of this team on the court and off. And both ends of the free throws missed by Mule. But don't get caught leaving people and leaving players wide open. Shot too strong from St. Rose. Rebound Aaliyah Edwards. Sean. Lopez Seneschal wide open for three. That, that was set up by a terrific pass from Caroline Ducharme from the other side of the floor. Griffin got a hand on that pass. Shot clock at five. Chen drives, cut off by Lopez Seneschal. Three, two, throws it up, doesn't get rim. Yukon runs. Lopez Seneschal gets knocked around. The injured brigade on the end of the bench for UConn. Clearly having hair issues. Griffin! And one! And here is Aubrey Griffin at the free throw strike. Maggie Connolly, another one of those long experienced players for the Tigers. She wears number 12. Now the freshman, St. Rose. Dishes underneath, the long step through. Griffin. And got the roll. Caroline Ducharme goes to the bench. Huskies on an 8-0 run. Offensive foul drawn by Nika Mule and called on Chet Nowecki. I mean, she sold it. And that's a block. Griffin drives, draws contact. Six points. Make it seven for Griffin. Good inbounds play, and Caitlin Chen breaks the long scoring drought for Princeton. Griffin again. With the kick to DeBerry. Let's it fly. Back iron. Inside of two minutes to go in this second quarter. The pull up jumper by Grace Stone, the senior from Long Island. Mule floats it in to Edwards, draws a double team. They're going to call a foul on the floor on Mitchell. He was second in the nation in rebounds per game. Valuable, valuable player for Princeton. And Aaliyah Edwards, speaking of valuable players. 
and Griffin gets the rebound of the missed free throw. That's just great effort by Griffin. Edwards cut off, has it stolen away. 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. Tigers try to set up as close to a last shot as they can get. About a second and a half difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Chen defended by Deshaun. Looking for an opening. Steps back with the three. No. That will be knocked out of bounds. Or will it? Yes, it will. That'll be Princeton's ball. So there is time for the catch and shoot. But the ball just gets thrown into an empty lane to Amari DeBerry. On the floor to start this third quarter for UConn, along with Lou Lopez Seneschal, Caroline Deshar, Malia Edwards, and Nika Mule. Princeton with the first possession of this third quarter. Here's Julia Cunningham, defended by Deshaun. Stepped on the end line. Turnover to start the third quarter by the UConn defense. Try to get the ball in to Griffin from Lopez Seneschal. Pass was a little wide and quickly stolen by well, you gotta Mitchell. read the defense where they are behind and give the post player a chance to, to get the defender on her back. Here's Cunningham, defended by Griffin, now feeds Stone, lets it fly, good. He's seeing it a little bit now. You think he's seeing it too? <laughs> Taking off his Maybe glasses so Maybe that's why I took the so classes off to see. not see it. Yeah. <laughs> Aliyah Edwards, back iron with a long three. Princeton rebound. They've and got run. to get the ball in the lane. Just settling for three-pointers is not the way to go. Griffin runs and scores. Here's Caitlin Chan. No, fight for the rebound. Ducharme gets it to Mule. Griffin from just inside the free throw line. Yes, for two. 11 points and eight rebounds for Griffin. And we've just started the third quarter. Chen feeds underneath, breaking, and getting the bucket was Paige Morton, the sophomore from Summit, New Jersey. That was a terrible offensive possession by UConn. Second foul on Deshaun. Lopez Seneschal also has two. Hard work by Morton. Mule is down on the floor. It took a, an elbow or something to the side of the head, and Nika Mule is down. Tried to take a charge. I'm not sure if her head hit the floor. Let's see what happened here to uh, Nika Mule as she begins to uh, to get up. A little bit of blood in her mouth, you can see. You see, you saw her react, and then and a knee to the back of the head. So DeBerry into the ball game, and uh, a missed switch on the part of UConn sends Caitlin Chen to the rim, and a timeout UConn as Gino Oriano wants to regroup his squad. They're asked again yeah. to, to come together and step up and play without another key player. The player that handles the ball, runs the offense. Yeah, we've talked so much this year. It's the heart and soul. Edwards to a streaking Griffin. Here is Caitlin Chen. Drives, throws up a left-hander and got it off the glass. Savvy play by Chen. Double figures for Chen, the junior from California. DeBerry sets the wicked screen. DeBerry with the block. 
She did everything right that defensive sequence. Nice job, nice active hands, almost disrupted it with those long arms able to knock the ball away on the shot. 11 on the timer for Princeton. There's almost a big collision around that inbound pass. There's Cunningham, bounces off of Edwards. They're gonna call the block on Aaliyah. And the problem there, DeBerry, DeBerry let the kid get around her. So that's the second foul on Aaliyah Edwards. Caroline Ducharme has three. She will blow that up tonight. Yes. Lopez set a shawl. No. Griffin uncontested. Rebound. Draws the foul. Griffin's season high in scoring is 18. She has 13, as you see there, and is at the free throw stripe. The little things right now that are going to make a big difference. Rainbow three attempt from outside was missed by Nuecki. UConn needs to really be smart and run offense. Ducharme with the nice move in the right hand. She wanted that ball. The kick from outside. Madison St. Rose, no. Fight for the rebound. Block. DeBerry, no. They'll call a foul. The other end of the floor. Watch Ducharme. She wants the ball. The nice pass from the top of the key. And then the pretty finish off the glass. A crucial player for the Huskies now with AZ foot out for three to six weeks. So here is the junior from Woodbine, Maryland, Chet Nowecki, shooting free throws for Princeton and gets them both. UConn by 12. Deshaun drives, takes the contact. They're going to call the yeah. offensive foul, and that's her fourth. Three and a half minute dry spell here for Princeton as we hit two minutes to go in this third quarter. St. Rose lets it fly. No, that was wide right. Offensive rebound by Nowecki and a foul. So Desharm will go to the bench with four fouls. DeBerry will also go to the bench with two. Ayanna Patterson checks in, as does the freshman Inish Betancourt. And here is Chet Nowecki, a second-year player. Got a brother that plays uh, basketball at Columbia and a brother that runs track at Yale. Pretty smart genes in that family, along with athletic. Think so. Smart, smart play to press here by Barubi. Seneschal cut off, Griffin with step for three and get it to go. <laughs> In that same situation this morning at shoot around, they had a set like that and Gino looked at Aubrey as Betancourt would get called for the block. <laughs> well, well, she drained it. Boom. A gutsy shot. You know what that is? That's just basketball instincts. That's just not thinking, that's just catching and shooting. So the senior Maggie Connolly is shooting free throws, and we check with Maria. Hey, Alan, uh, yesterday I asked Chris Daly what her message was to Aubrey Griffin after she had a, a season low three points at Notre Dame, and Daly actually referenced Diana Tarazi going one for 15 from the floor in the 2001 national semifinal. Not exactly the same thing, but her point was <laughs> you keep shooting, and she said Aubrey will learn from that experience. And she expected Aubrey to have a great game tonight. She is. Lopez Seneschal is as well. Gino's down in the stance telling Betancourt, just get in your stance, keep the kid in front of you. 15 point UConn lead. Four, three, <laughs> off the glass. <laughs> Edwards drives, pulls up, and got it. <laughs> Another gutsy shot. They haven't had her involved enough in the offense, Aaliyah Edwards. Three, two seconds in the quarter. One shot well short from outside. And that is how the third quarter is going to end.
So the fourth quarter starts, and again, if you just joined us late um, and haven't uh, seen the social media headline, Nico Mule left this game. Tough defense there by Audrey Griffin. Cunningham got the rebound though for Princeton, and Chen will get a chance to reset for the Tigers. Bucket and a foul. What a tough play, the senior captain, Julia Cunningham. Now, you would think that Patterson is quick enough. Julia Cunningham, second on the team in scoring assists, and uh, you mentioned team captain. Shot clock at six. Edwards got boxed in, three and two. Betancourt gets the shot to the rim, but misses. Stone, no. Rebound falls right into the hands of Nowecki, and she will be fouled. It's not that complicated. Do the little things. When the shot goes up, you got to box out. Just six minutes in this ball game. And Nowecki, one of two from the free throw stripe for Princeton. Tigers bring the full court pressure, broken quickly by Aubrey Griffin. DeBerry put her defender down. Got the pass out to Lopez Seneschal, who drops the three. What a pass from DeBerry. And you see two, two of the seven players. Ducharme's got to be smart. Oh, Griffin with a block, and then a block by Cunningham. Like, why is UConn in a hurry? It would be the question. Like, I know that's the, that's the nuance here. You want to play fast, but you don't want to play in a hurry. DeBerry stopped to run up the court, and so the pass thrown away. You see the previous possession, UConn got away with a foul and then turns it over inexplicably for trying to go too fast. Cunningham drives, no, missed, didn't get a foul call she was looking for. Sean picked up her dribble, almost got in trouble there, DeBerry did. There's Griffin, she'll take three. Yes! <laughs> wow. Have a night, kid. And a three answer right by back. Stone. Right back at you. Stone has been phenomenal. As Seneschal will handle the ball here for the Huskies. The lead is 12. And a steal. And Caitlin Chan will get the layup for UConn. That's just smart basketball by Princeton and UConn sloppy. So Princeton has ratcheted up the defensive pressure and Gino Oriema is going to call a timeout. See if they can run. Just execute a good offensive possession. Lopez set a shawl. The pass from the very hit. Ellie Mitchell in the back. Just cutting in. Works on Edwards. Cut off. It's literally one possession at a time now. Chen cut off by DeBerry. Somebody's free. There she was. Mitchell with patience and a bucket. Quickly, the full court pressure by Princeton. Of course, they got a pressure. Bouchard in trouble. So it's a 10 second turnover. Now let's just sit down the stance, communicate, execute. Foul called as Mitchell threw Lopez Seneschal to the floor. She's a junior, she's a seasoned veteran. Can the Huskies break the pressure? No, they throw it away. Tries again. Stone. Five to shoot. Here's Chen. Lopez Seneschal. Defending. Here's the kick. And Mitchell at the buzzer drains the three. Excuse me, that was Cunningham. He knew that was going in. Yeah. Griffin answers for UConn. A 10-0 Princeton run answered with that two for UConn. Stone inside. What Edwards help with the block. Edwards with the help. That was great defense. And Griffin runs and scores. Timeout, Princeton. So a nine-point UConn lead.
And still four minutes and 19 seconds on the scoreboard. Cunningham over the outstretched arm of Bencourt. Shot goes over the top and a turnover to UConn. Unlucky for Princeton. Justin some positioning on the floor. And Bencourt is going to turn it over. Chen drives, feeds inside. The shot thrown up by Nowecki. That was a low foul call again. I'm sure Princeton would like that question answered. Smart play by Aliyah Edwards to just get the ball up. They go after DeBerry. She throws a pass that's deflected on the way in. Here comes Stone, fouled on the way through. And here is Grace Stone, the senior from Long Island, at the free throw strike, with a chance to cut into the UConn lead. That's 20 for Stone, eight point Husky lead. DeBerry's back was turned to the pass. She went to set a screen, and Bettencourt threw it. Well, that's the inexperience of Bettencourt. Turnover. Knocked away, out of bounds. UConn got lucky. A load of freshman experience in a tough circumstance. Edwards cut off. Kicks to Griffin. She'll drive and get it to go. UConn's lead back to 10. Two and a half to go. Cunningham with the three is good. And immediately the pressure by Princeton. Bettencourt will dribble through two, through three. They'll call the shark for travel. See, this is where UConn needs to slow it down. They've got the lead. Ali Edwards got a hand on the ball, but then got the other hand on the arm of Ellie Mitchell, and that'll be a foul on Aaliyah, her third. Ellie Mitchell will step to the free throw strike. And they've missed some critical free throws here. They're 10 of 15 on the night, which the way they have missed some of these free throws late, I thought their numbers were worse. One of two there for Mitchell. Griffin. Nice dump to Edwards. Two to shoot. Bettencourt drives. Yes! I don't think she got it off. Sending both teams to their benches to have a look. The call on the floor yeah. is good basket, plays on the new. And the pressure continues to build toward the end of this one. No basket, shot clock violation. Princeton has to execute, and UConn has to sit and play defense. Chen over the top of Bettencourt for two. One minute. 6-0, Princeton run. Bettencourt gives it away. Get back on defense. Chen gets hammered and a foul. Smart play by Chen to get into the lane. So here is Caitlin Chen. 61% free throw shooter. Gotta love the toughness of the junior. And a chance to cut the lead to two. And does. Timeout UConn. Bettencourt, Descharmes, and Edwards to inbound the ball with 46.1 seconds to go in the game. UConn only leading by two. Griffin will drive all the way to the rim, draw the foul, and get the bucket! Biggest play of the game, perhaps, of her career. 29 points for Aubrey Griffin. Not a bigger bucket in her career. Slicing through traffic. Finds a way to get it to drop while getting fouled. As an opportunity for the old fashioned three point play. First missed free throw of the night. UConn now bringing some front court pressure. But here come the Tigers. 35 to go. Chen kicks to the corner. St. Rose got it. Timeout, Princeton. 
Aaliyah Edwards will inbound the ball. Here's Deshaun across the timeline. Bad place to pick up the ball. And the foul. Talk about pressure. Backcourt two shots. At least it's two shots now and not a one and one. No bigger shots in this young lady's life. Got one of two. Three point UConn lead. And for Princeton, what are you looking for? You quick, know, it's quick. interesting. Uh, if Based on what Chen can do, I would say, and the trouble that UConn has had against the pressure, I would go for a quick two. All right. Ayanna Patterson checks into the ball game. Amari DeBerry checks out. Yeah, that's for defense, for athleticism. And so, they'll inbound the ball in front of the Princeton bench with 21.7 to go and UConn leading by three. Patterson on the inbounder. Here's Chen with the ball. St. Rose. Defended by Bouchard. Clock running. Chen again, cut off by Patterson. Throws up a long three, misses everything. It was knocked out of bounds off Ducharme. Who was that? Maggie Connolly raced over for Princeton and knocked the ball off Ducharme out of bounds. Princeton a, basketball. What a heads up play by Connolly. So you think you're doing the right thing by letting it go. And so the same five come back to the court. Patterson will again guard the inbounder for UConn. No, can, no open threes. Princeton has put one of their biggest players into the game. That was Weger. The ball went off her. Hit the sideline. Turnover to UConn. And you can't underscore how Patterson makes it difficult to inbound that ball. You just have to get it inbounds first. <laughs> Here we Usually go. Usually, if you set a good screen, you're going to be open. Betancourt gets the ball and is quickly fouled by St. Rose. Still, what a still an opportunity here. I mean, Betancourt has got to make at least one of these. There's one. Four-point lead, chance to make it five. Got it. Under pressure, Inish Betancourt delivers at the free throw stride. And UConn <laughs> escapes over Princeton. 69-64. What a game.